Okay, hey everyone and welcome to the Class 66 Rocks November layout update. Um, now, my nan is still in hospital at the moment, um, but she is getting better. Um, we went to see her the other day and she's starting to be a bit more positive now. Um, so, at the minute, they're just trying to get her walking again. Um, now, she was supposed to be coming home um, next week. But um, the hospital have said that they might look at putting a care package in um, because they feel that with obviously me, my mum and my dad working all the time, um, there's only ever going to be like one person at home with her at different parts of the day and we can't be at home 24-7. Um, so they were on about putting a care package in, um, but she might only might have to go into a home um, as the hospital have been discussing this um, with my parents as well and they've been talking it through with my nan and explaining everything to her um, and she also went back for the results of the cancer test um, which I told you about in the October video I think it was um, which weren't what we wanted um, but like I say, she is beginning to feel more positive, um, but with it being cancer, um, some people recover quite quick from it, and some people don't. Um, and due to my nan's age being against her as well, um, we think that the cancer is playing a part in some of the conditions that she's now got. So... She may be coming home, she may be not coming home. Um, well, I'm actually hoping that she does come home. Um, but obviously, at the end of the day, you have to make sure that they've got the best possible care as well. So, uh, it's a bit up and down for us at the minute. Um, so, we've done a little bit at the layout. But like I say, due to the struggling to the hospital to see my nan and... The appointments that she's had and obviously we've had to see the occupational therapists and all this um, we haven't got as much as we wanted to do done um, so hopefully within the next week or so we should sort of know what's happening and the direction that it's going to be taking but anyway um, I'm going to show you the progress now of what we've been up to during November um, so, as you may remember, back in October, um, we just made a start on the scenery. Now, I'm going to just come over here and show you what's been happening this month. Um, so, as you can see, we have started to put the plaster bandage down, as you can see. Um, so, if I just touch this little bit here, and we've let this dry for a few days, actually. That's now rock solid. Um, but what we did with this area here... Uh, is exactly what we've done with this area here, which we've just done last night um, after I'd finished work. So, as you can see, um, in order for the plaster bandage to go on, we start off by putting newspaper down over the chicken wire, as you can see. And this is actually still wet, um, as it hasn't fully dried yet, as we've used wallpaper paste, which is just in that top tub up there um, and we've pasted the newspaper on I mean it does take roughly one to two days to dry actually um, so at the minute we're just letting all this dry so as you can see we've covered all the chicken wire up to here now with newspaper and then hopefully in another one to two days or so um, we will get round to putting the plaster bandage on um, even though we've only got one roll left, so we might have to go and get some more yet. Uh, I don't know. Um, but obviously when you're putting the plaster bandage on, you place it on and then obviously just soak it with water and a paintbrush or whatever method you prefer. Um, I mean, we personally prefer to do it with a paintbrush because it covers the area and then you just smooth it across to get all of the holes out of the bandage. So we've been doing that, as you can see, we've got the paintbrush and the water there. Um, now, 
We've also started to lay the platform, as you can see just here. Um, so we've been doing a bit of work on that and getting this section of the platform almost completed now. Um, but we do need to get some more balsa wood, hence why we haven't done this piece or the other platform on the other side yet. Um, now we've also put the road back in that led up to the station um, on the old layout. We've tried to do this as similar as we can to the old layout. Um, but as you can see, we've now done all the road work. Um, we've also started to put some fencing in just up there. Um, that's got to be painted yet, as mentioned in the October update. Um, but all the road is now complete. And the vehicles have only been placed on just for the time being, so we know where to put them when all the scenery is finished. Um, but it is coming along slowly now. Um, like I say, obviously due to what's happening with my nan and obviously we've got the work up here with the newspaper taking a couple of days to dry. Um, it's something you can't really rush the scenery is. Um, because then when we do the plaster bandage that'll take another one to two days to dry. Um, um, due to work commitments as well. Um, with coming up towards Christmas, um, the workload tends to increase at work, so you start getting additional shifts um, that you wouldn't usually have on a normal weekday. So we're just going to try and do as much as we can in the time that we've got. Um, now the next stage will be to start work over here, um, where the viaduct area is. Um, now we have started to put chicken wire down on here, so there won't be as much work required um, doing this section and then obviously if I just turn around now you can see this is going to be like the Scottish half of the layout but at the minute it looks nothing like a layout um, so all this will be tidied off um, and then we'll be cracking on with that either towards maybe mid to late December or maybe into next year it just depends like I say on the progress that can be made on this other half just for the time being. So that is it basically, the layout update for November 2017.